What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here. Welcome to NR Motorsports YouTube channel. So don't mind my voice a little bit. I've been sick all week and it's been a little bit tough to talk, but today we're gonna be working on the F-350. We have over fenders. They're uh, cutout fender flares from Bushwhacker. They are right in here. Let me unlock this. <clears throat> Damn, it's still to breathe. But right here, these are the cutout over fenders. So this is gonna take um, an inch out of the rear. The reason why I'm doing these cutout fenders is because I have this rust here. And I'd rather just pour 15 this stuff, clean this up right, and cut it out and just be done with it. And on the front ones, <clears throat> it cuts out about two inches throughout here. So it starts at this uh, bolt up here and then comes down to about two inches out cut here. The reason why we're doing this is because I have 20 by or 22 by 12s now on this and we are going to be fitting 37s. We have 37, 13 and a half, 22 Fury Country Hunter MT2s. So these will be going on hopefully today if we can get these fenders on here. And with these being so big, uh, just to make them fit on a leveling kit because I only have a two inch level, uh, we have to cut the fenders to make them fit. So we'll eventually do a, a bigger lift on it, but for now I just want to rock the 37. So let's get to it. I'm going to read the instructions, get this uh, all set up to where we need to get this cut out, and then I'll show you guys us actually cutting it out. It says to remove this fender liner, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to unbolt it where it is, cut what I need, and then make this make this work here. So. Let me get set up and uh, we'll get this thing started. All right guys, so we got the first one cut out. I have some undercoating spray on it drying up right now, but that's where it is right now. It's very simple. You're just putting cuts in this way and then you're folding it back over to hold the fender liner back. So that gave us our extra two inches of clearance here. The only thing that I'm worried about is this down right in here. I might have to cut more of that off, but we'll see after we get the, the tires mounted up if we have to cut any more of that off. But um, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna set up on the other side, get ready to start cutting the other side. And then once this stuff's dry, we'll come and mock this up, get the holes drilled for the, the bolts that go in here and get this thing mounted up. The back should be super easy because it's just one inch all the way around cut and then just bolt it in. So let me get to, yeah, actually we'll probably work on the back. I'll, I'll film this. so. Let me uh, set you guys up and get that uh, cut out. All right guys, so this is basically how this is done. So you're gonna mark off your, your mark up top three inches from the top bolt. And then you draw your line where it comes in one inch and then in two inches here. And then you put these slits and then you bend these over into it. Where it's different in the back, where you just cut one inch all the way around and then fit it up. And then, here I'll just show you guys on the other side because it's already done. And then it's just as simple as drilling up, uh, pre-drilling the holes so these new uh, bolts can go in. And then they're basically like self-tappers right into the holes. So everything seems to be mounting up fairly well. I love the fact that it fits the body lines perfectly. I was afraid that it might be a little bit off, but it's actually really, really good. So we will see if these will fit 37s. Let me just get this other side done. Probably got another, I don't know, half hour or so just to drill out these holes and everything. And again, I sealed off everything with this rubberized uh, sealant undercoat stuff. So it won't rust anymore. But um, yeah, let me get these bent over, get these on the front. And then the only thing we have left to do is I have bolts and I'll show you, we're gonna space the bumper out an inch just so I don't have to hack up anything up inside of here. So let me get to it and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit.
right guys, so we're a little bit on the move here. So I rushed to get to the tire shop in town. And then once I got there, he told me over the phone that they could mount and balance 37s. And I got there and they looked at me like, no, we can't do that. So there's a place in Hartford that I've, I've gone to for oversized tires called St Star Tire Plus Wheels. So that's where we're heading now. About like 15 minutes out, I called ahead. They said they could mount and balance them, which I, I know they've done big tires for me before. So hopefully we can get that done, maybe get an alignment. If not, we'll do the alignment. What's up guys? Day two here. We're back to working on the fucking truck. We um so we got the mount the mounted and balanced. It drives smooth as hell. Just the only issues we're having is it's rubbing up against here on both sides, and then it's hitting this bracket and then part of the uh lower valence here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this bracket right here just to get this thing out of the way and then I'm just gonna saw this as straight as I can down and get rid of that just because this is isn't really needed it's only really protecting the fog light housing behind here so I'm gonna get a marker mark this up where I'm gonna cut give this a good good edge to it and then really just get rid of this because I want to make sure that these tires can off-road and not have any issues when it's fully compressed or all over the place so let me uh let me mark that stuff off this stuff off and then we'll get both sides cut and then I don't know if I'm gonna have enough daylight to to bring this somewhere but I, I think I might bring it somewhere and do a full walk around and go over everything on it so let me get to it and then I'll show you guys as I'm cutting and what we're going through here. Alright guys, as you guys can see, it is dark as fuck, but we have, let me get the light. So I cut it exactly the same on both sides. I took that little bracket out and then I probably, basically what I did is you see that nut that's right in there? I cleaned up the bumper right up to that, that nut and bolt right there that holds this lower valence on. And it's more than enough clearance. As you can see, this is the farthest part of the tire is here so even if it compresses it's still within clearance and I don't I don't really see this compressing all that much but yeah I got full lock I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take this on a test drive you're not gonna be able to see much so I'm not gonna really film it um, I will do another video just going over the whole setup what's what's done to it what's going on what are future plans of this but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's good to be back I know it's been a long time since I've uh, filmed anything but we got the r6 we got the bmw going and the corvette's gonna get a lot of work done this uh this spring once it warms up but we got the big garage i don't know if you guys can see it i uh i finally got the debt paid off so this way i can start throwing shit ton of money back into that and we'll get the we'll get the shop finished and get a lift and really get this thing going so i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm happy to be back i can't wait to film some more stuff if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, throw it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.